um, as well, different things you can do at different times of the year, but there's a few basic things. So, rudimentary, what does soil life need to exist? Basic existence. What's that? Moisture? Water. Okay, water is big. Nutrients. Nutrition, yeah, elements. We talk about nutrients like elements, copper, zinc, boron, or sugar, either one. I'm going to say carbon, whether it's organic matter or sugar, and um, minerals, elements. We've got three of our five. Oxygen. Air, big one. <laughs> you can live a little while without water. You can't live very long without air. You know, Microorganisms. They themselves must be there, precisely. The biology themselves, and in many cases, this is one of your biggest issues when you've got a um, soil that has been had lots of chemicals applied to it, right? When you when you apply Roundup for 20 years, you're gonna do a pretty good job of killing just about everything. They're not there anymore, so you have to re-establish them. That's what compost tea is for. Um, um, yeah, and based on the historical, you know, um, effects of the environment on the land, like. In the 1940s and 50s and 60s, I think even in the 70s, there was atomic um, warheads being set off over Nevada on a regular basis. And guess what came drifting down in everyone's heads across the country? Right? You look at the maps, the nuclear fallout <laughs> map of, mass of the U.S., and it's like yellow. Right? It, they hit everything. And then there was DDT. Of course, there was acid rain. Um, we've had all kinds of um, environmental pollutants which have actually, depending on your soil, depending on the history of what's happened to your soil, knocked out a lot of the species. So, so absolutely correct. You must have the species themselves. In many cases, they are not there. So, um, so for me, the whole process of growing healthy, healthy um, crops is a process of maintaining sufficient levels of these five things. 